What's going on everybody and welcome back to SoCal Exploring. My name is Scott and you are watching the number one stop for all things theme park related. How's everybody doing today? Today we're talking about the HNN Nightmares Volume 2 of the Halloween Hornets 2020 speculation map. There's a couple of changes on here which I want to discuss. There's a couple of unknown properties on here that I want to discuss and make my predictions on. I actually made an Orlando version of the Orlando map as well. So click the link in the description if you want to see my thoughts on that new version 2 of that map. Once again, was put together by at HNN Nightmares on Twitter, where you can find also in the description their socials in our description of this video. So let's talk about the Hollywood version 2 speculation map for the 2020 season. All right, y'all. So we still have All Hallows Eve. We still have the Walking Dead attraction. We still have Haunting of Hill House. We still have the speculated Jordan Peele original, which could be anything really which i speculated a little bit on in our version one video check that out so i have universal's monsters the bride music by slash we have beetlejuice of course that's a big one that i don't think we're gonna lose beetlejuice hopefully we get it and we have the billy eilish mate now keep in mind this is all just speculation this is not confirmed by universal at all however hnn nightmares has reliable sources as myself does i have reliable sources on the inside so i want to give a little bit of my, my thoughts on some of this this stuff so the two that got scrapped were the chilling adventures of sabrina and gremlins due to warner brothers because I'm, i mean i was saying in the very beginning i was saying that most likely those those two mazes are going to get scrapped so warner brothers and universal just don't get along um they try universal tries to bring these properties in all the time from warner brothers and make them work and the warner brothers just doesn't have it I think Universal and John Murdy and the creative team in general would do a, a, a wonderful job at capturing some of their intellectual properties and mazes. However, I guess Warner Brothers just isn't there. I guess they're just jealous that Halloween Horror Nights is able to run a, a very scary event compared to Horror Made Here. That was not shade, but so, so um, and the M1 location, which is where Chilling Adventures of Sabrina was originally speculated to be at. We have a secret intellectual property. Now, what could this be? In my Orlando a speculation video, I said the same thing. I'm gonna give you guys three different things of what I'll most likely will replace Chilling Adventure Sabrina. Number one, Flawless is Invisible Inn. Super easy, super cheap, came out this year, perfect advertising. Number two, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It would make sense too, because Texas Chainsaw Massacre has been in that location in 2016. Be an easy maze they could reuse some of the props and build some new sets as well and number three which i think will most likely come or yeah most most likely not come that yeah most likely not replace it Candyman. a lot of people are saying oh Candyman should come to the event as a maze well the movie got pushed back the new reboot however they could do the original which i wouldn't i wouldn't not see them doing the original i think i i love to walk through an original Candyman maze. It'd be so much fun. Being a kind of weird location, the water world location, you'd think of this would be more in like where the Beetlejuice maze is speculated at, but this would be speculated for the water world location. I'd be all for it if it was original. However, I think that the reboot got pushed back somewhere around October. And I actually want to see the movie and understand the sets and everything before I actually walking through a maze. So if they were going to do Candyman, I would hope that they do that original movie. M4, where the Gremlins location was originally speculated at, that's in the Mummy location, Revenge of the Mummy extended queue line, is a, a, an original, an unknown original, speculated unknown original. What could we get there? Could that actually be an intellectual property or is it actually an original? Be really, really weird to see an original down there in the mummy location. The last time we saw an original in the mummy location was Clowns 3D, music by Slash, which was in 2013. So, I don't know. It'd be weird to see another original. I think that they'd have a lot more fun in creating it and a lot more stuff to create and tell their own story. I was a big fan of Pandora's Box last year, even though a lot of people didn't like it. I was a big fan of the Curse of Pandora's Box, especially since Chris Williams actually pitched John Murdy that idea and they put it together co collaboratively can't say that word right but I, I it's gonna be weird because those are the two changes made to the Hollywood speculated map so that would leave us with one two 
three, four. Four intellectual properties. That's not like Hollywood at all. If you're counting Walking Dead, five intellectual properties. That is not like Hollywood at all. That's an Orlando thing. Orlando usually gets more originals than anything. We usually are lucky if we get one original. That would leave us with one, two, three, four original mazes. Hmm. It's going to be interesting to see how this year pans out. It's going to be really interesting. Um, I don't know how I feel about this lineup. I think that it could be strong. Like I said, if okay, so if Invisible Man is a secret intellectual property, then I don't think it's going to be super strong. If it's Texas Chainsaw Master or Candyman, I think it'll be very strong. I know it's just one maze, but one maze makes a difference. I know that I said Invisible Man is most likely to come. That's not me saying that I, that's the one that I want to see come the most, but it's just what is realistic. They've worked with Blumhouse before many times, have a huge history with Blumhouse. So it makes sense if, if that were to, to come. I don't know, it's, it's gonna be really, really weird to see. If this map is true, it's gonna be weird to see four original mazes and four intellectual properties. That's just not like Hollywood at all. It really is not like Hollywood. It's gonna be interesting to see though. It will be really interesting to see. Scare zones, still unknown. We don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I, this is gonna be really interesting to see how this plays out. Am I a fan of the lineup? I think there's definitely some strong mazes on there. Beetlejuice, The Haunting of Hill House. Those are definitely going to be strong mazes. But will it be enough to carry the originals that Hollywood doesn't normally do? We'll wait and see. However, I think that this year will most likely be like 2018. Half of the mazes were really good, half of the mazes were okay. Which I'm fine with. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm fine with. As long as we're not getting a year of 2017. I'm actually fine with this lineup if it's not anything less than 2018. That's my personal opinion on it. But let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Because I know this is gonna be a little bit controversial as far as if this lineup were to come. The Orlando lineup looks a lot better than the first version, and this one looks a little bit worse than the first version. So we'll have to wait and see. Like I said, I, I know I just repeated myself like a million times. We, we really will have to wait and see. Hopefully we get an announcement somewhere in the early stages of June. That would be nice. But I don't think we're getting an announcement any time before that as far as Halloween Horror Nights goes. We'll have to wait and see. I just, huh, I'm sorry guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what your guys' thoughts are on the new version of this map. And even if Halloween Horror Nights were to somehow, somehow, someway get cancelled, which I still do not think it will, they most likely just postpone it to a later date and probably stretch it into like opening night is on October. Which would be fine because we'd still have Halloween Horror Nights. We just have to wait a little bit longer for the event to actually come. That does it for today's video. Subscribe if you're new here with those bell notifications on. And follow us on social media at SoCalExploring Media on Instagram. And at SoCalExploring on Twitter. Visit our website SoCalExploring.com. My name is Scott. You've been watching SoCalExploring. Positivity is key. And most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace everybody.